He always wanted to, you know, help his friends. Giovanni Joseph McDade planned on getting a business degree. He was just a very good kid. On a Friday night in June of 2017. It's very hard. It, <laughs> this controls my life. Kent police pulled over the 20 year old for expired tabs, but he drove off and officers chased him. The end result was that they shot and killed him. Um, and he was unarmed. Running away does not warrant a death sentence. State lawmakers heard his story in January. Giovanni was not a threat. He was unarmed. He was a young man who tried to get away to save his life. His mother testified in favor of a bill to limit when police can chase someone. Expired tabs would no longer justify a pursuit. The bill would also prohibit officers from shooting in a moving car unless there's an imminent threat of harm. Those are changes Sonia Joseph thinks would have saved her son's life. It was just a sad ending. You know, it could have been unavoidable. You know, our community has been sounding this alarm for decades, but finally we had a call from the majority to reform the system. Representative Jesse Johnson is sponsoring the bill, which has been criticized by police who fear officers will be at greater risk. In past legislative sessions, Johnson says that kind of reaction from police might have killed the bill. But a long list of policy changes is expected to pass this year. I feel like we have a squad behind us now, uh, so to speak. Uh, in the past, it hasn't been that way. And you don't have to go back very far. And is this the first time we've had a Black House caucus? Are you, are, am I looking at the first? Last fall, we interviewed the then five black members of the legislature. Following November's election, though, that number almost doubled. It's at nine. I don't want this story to just be about that the, the black member caucus has doubled since since we last did a story like this. There's obviously much more to that. Um, what what do you hope can be the result of what we've seen since the election? Our job is to make laws that actually impact and make people's lives better every day. And I think us reflecting the diversity of our state and, and, and working together is exactly how a good culture and society works. And that's what we all want. I, Twana Nobles. I, Tawana Nobles. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. Tacoma Senator Tawana Nobles became the state's first black senator in a decade. So I feel honored. I feel heard. It hasn't been without incident. Absolutely. I've had to check some things that are not right. Are you willing to share what, what maybe one of those incidents was? I am. I'll share one. My very first day on campus to pick up my ID card, I... Um, Someone said to me, I won't say who to say, because we've already uh, had the conversation and um, come to Jesus about this. So, but um, the person said to me like, oh, are you switching offices? And I said, nope, it's my first day here, just getting the key to my first office. And they were like, oh, but your hair is different. And I'm like, I guess it is different from when I took my ID card picture. And when they saw my ID, they were like, oh my gosh, I thought you were the other lady. And I followed up to say, there are too many of us black folks on this campus for you to confuse us. I'm the only black Senator who will be walking through these doors. It is very important that you know our names, that you are not confusing us. And it is very offensive. And what an erasure of someone's first day in experience. This is the most talented, group of people I have been around in my life. When Representative John Lovick first came to Olympia in 1999, he was the only black member in the House. And I've been in public service for 51 years now, starting as a young man in the Coast Guard. And what it's like to me is I literally have a box of Kleenex next to me, and I've been crying. And I can't expect, uh, you know, a middle-aged white male to understand my lived experiences. Giovanni Joseph McDade's mother sued Kent police and the city just settled with the family paying out $4.4 million. The city maintains the law permitted the officers to use deadly force. Giovanni's mother hopes her son's story and the changing face of Olympia will change that law. It's mainly for the future so that um, other families or, or you know the community wouldn't have to experience this type of loss. 
The bill that she testified in favor of is expected to be signed into law by Governor Jay Inslee. It would prohibit police from chasing anyone unless they were suspected of a violent or sexual crime or driving under the influence. The bill calls for a ban on chokeholds and neck restraints. Police departments would have to issue warnings before using tear gas on crowds. And the original bill called for a ban on military vehicles, but that will still be allowed.